Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this couple of problems. FTRA 2017 paper 2. Problem numbers 29 and 30. So let's look at the first one. We have to find out the possible integral values of k for which the equation 7 cos x plus 5 sin x equal to 2k plus 1 has a solution. So what will be the values of k? Now whenever we have a cos x plus b sin x we have that expression then we know what are its minimum and maximum values. So let's write down that. This again from NCRT 11th class. So a cos x plus b sin x plus c then we know the minimum and maximum values are minimum is given by c minus root of a square minus b square and maximum is given by c plus root of sorry that is a square plus b square c minus root of a square plus b square and maximum is c plus root of a square plus b square now let's go to our problem what we have been given it is 7 cos x plus 5 sin x 7 cos x plus 5 sin x is what is given to us so we have c equal to 0 we have a equal to 7 and we have b equal to 5 so what will be the values here let's understand minimum value will be root of minus of root of 7 square plus 5 square and maximum value will be square root of 7 square plus 5 square and minimum is square root of 74 and maximum is again square root of 74 minus 74 minus root 74 minimum is square root of minus square root of 74 and maximum is square root of 74 root of 74 is approximately 8.6 so minus 8.6 to 8.6 so any values between minus 8.6 to 8.6 can be equal to 2k plus 1 now we have to give the values of k such that integral values so let's understand what are the integral values we have between minus 8 and 8 so minus 8 I can write down minus 8 minus 7 minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and we have to equate this to this is important we have to equate this to 2k plus 1 so 2k plus 1 means clearly the number has to be a odd number so let's take odd numbers from here this one this one this one and we have 3 5 and 7 so I'll write down what are those values it will be minus 7 minus 5 minus 3 minus 1 3 5 7 now this is equal to 2k plus 1 so if that is 2k plus 1 then what will be equal to k values 2k plus 1 is minus 7 2k is minus 8 k equal to minus 4 2k plus 1 is minus 5 k is minus 3 2k plus 1 is minus 3 2k is minus 4 k is minus 2 so 2k plus 1 is minus 1 k is minus 1 2k plus 1 is 3 k is 1 2k plus 1 is 5 k is 2 2k plus 1 is 7 k equal to 3 so all the values of whatever is given in this box they are all allowed now let's look at our options minus 2 is present so tick mark 2 is present tick mark 3 is present tick mark minus 3 is present so this is one problem where we have all the options are correct so let us see how we have solved this problem we have been given 7 cos x plus 5 sin x equal to 2k plus 1 such that this expression is having a solution what will be the integral values of k we know a cos x plus b sin x plus c what is the minimum value maximum value so from that left hand side should be between minus root 74 to plus root 74 that is minus 8.6 to plus 8.6 these are all the integrals we have we are interested only in the odd numbers 
So we have picked the odd numbers. For those numbers, we understood what are the values of k. k values are given by minus 4 to 3 and in the options we see all the four options are correct. Now let's go to the next problem. This is familiar problem. Let P and Q are non-zeros. X square plus Px plus Q equal to 0 has P and Q as the roots. That means roots are given by P comma Q. We know alpha plus beta equal to minus B by A. What is our alpha here? P. What is our beta here? Q. What is alpha plus beta? That's nothing but P plus Q. But P plus Q equal to minus B by A. A equal to 1, B equal to P and C equal to Q. Minus B by A. That means minus P. Not only that, we have alpha beta is nothing but PQ which is equal to C by A. C by A equal to Q. Now from this we can understand QQ cancels P equal to 1. If P equal to 1 then Q equal to we can go back here and get P to right hand side. We have Q equal to minus 2P that means Q equal to minus 2. So we have P equal to 1 and Q equal to minus 2. Let's verify this. We can take that values and substitute x square plus p x plus q that is minus 2 which is equal to x plus 2 into x minus 1. And you can see that the roots of this equation are 1 comma minus 2 which are nothing but equal to the values of p and q. So let's go back and put the answer a is minus 3 no x equal to 1 and the other option we have is minus 2 so B and C are the right options so we understood this problem it's pretty simple problem that P and Q are non zeros equation has P and Q as the roots alpha plus beta is minus B by A alpha beta equal to C by A from that you get P equal to 1 Q equal to minus 2 very familiar example and very easy example.